Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? That's right, it's been a very long time since I've done a What Are We Eating video. I listened to you, the people, in the comments asking for more What Are We Eating videos. So that's what you're going to get in 2023. So let's get started with today's video, which is a new El Monterey Signature Chicken Quesadilla Meal. This 10 ounce frozen meal costs $4.99, which to me is a little pricey because you can get a one pound Hungry Man meal for $4.78. But it's not all about the quantity, it's about the quality. So maybe El Monterey is justified in their pricing. El Monterey signature meals are convenient and delicious full entrees in single packages. With a chicken quesadilla entree, you get a charbroiled chicken quesadilla served with red Spanish style rice and topped with creamy queso sauce. Pick up an El Monterey chicken quesadilla entree or another El Monterey signature meal today. I did pick up three of their other meals to try at a later date. The list of ingredients? Well, there's a whole lot of them. I mean a whole lot of them. If you want to read all those ingredients, you might as well get a magnifying glass and a cold drink because you're going to be there a while. The whole meal has 510 calories, 22 grams of total fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 45 milligrams of cholesterol, 850 milligrams of sodium, 60 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugars, and 21 grams of protein. And the only option you have to heat this up is in the microwave. So let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Right out of the box, it looks just like it does on the box, but that cheese sauce looks a little suspect, but I'm sure it'll look better once we heat it up. Now remove the plastic film and it goes into the microwave for three minutes on high. After three minutes, give the rice a mix. And then it goes back into the microwave for two more minutes. Then after the two minutes, let it stand for one minute. After cooking for a total of five minutes and resting for one minute, our El Monterey grilled chicken and cheese quesadilla and Spanish rice style dinner is ready. So we gave the rice a try first. And all jokes aside, this rice was phenomenal. It's better than most rice you get in Mexican restaurants. It had a nice little char to it and superb flavor. The rice was so good, we had to have another bite before we tried the quesadilla. At this point, I would have been happy just to pay $4.99 for a container of this rice. Next, we cut into the quesadilla. Maybe we should have cut the quesadilla in smaller pieces because you can see it's falling apart. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. Now let me try to be as accurate as I can about the flavor and the texture of the quesadilla. It tasted like a wet sock, but a delicious wet sock. The tortilla felt like a soiled mattress in a nursing home. However, the insides of the quesadilla were delicious. We tried another piece of the quesadilla and I stick by my original assessment. It was delicious, just the texture was bad. And then we tried the chicken by itself and the chicken was actually very good. Just more of it would have been nice. So we opened up the other side of the quesadilla just to give you guys a peek of what's inside and it's not as impressive as the other side was. And what I mean by that is there's even less chicken. So here's my final thoughts on El Monterey's grilled chicken and cheese quesadilla and Spanish rice. Taste wise, they easily get a 10 out of 10. Quality wise, it really hurts them. With the lack of chicken, the texture of the tortilla, and the price. So I'm going to take off one point from each of the things I did not like and still give them a very reputable score of 7 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Happy New Year to everybody, and thank you for your continued support over the years, and I'll see you soon.